those that enjoy the short form content. We already did the first one earlier, so you kind of see where I'm going with these. It's going to be sport-related, unfortunate scenarios. Mm. You got to pick one. So would you rather get Moss for the game-winning touchdown or get pancaked on the tush push to lose the game? Pancake on the touch push. That's not even a question because pancake on the touch push, the touch push is unstoppable, bro. So it's like, can you really fault me that like <laughs> I'm getting guilt over here? Like you can't fault me for that. It's like a bunch of people, like it's too much force. I can't do nothing with that. But Moss, that's on me. I I just he's just better than me, bro. He just got the better of me. This is what I'm gonna say. If you've never really been in the trenches and like had somebody like uh, you trying your absolute hardest and somebody really just like, you know, and like put you, <laughs> on your, put you on your cheeks. That's, I don't know if there's many more demoralizing feelings, bro. Like you got manhandled actually. I mean, to be fair though, if it's like, bro, if I'm getting moss, that means I'm there with him. We're up there. <laughs> he just little boy, like get out, like, and don't let him like say you do too small after don't let him celebrate. Like that's, that's a bad feeling, bro. Never personally, it's never happened to me. But I'm just saying, that's just, that, it seemed like a bad feeling. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, yeah nah. I, I think I, I would probably have to say Moss too. But look, don't don't underplay getting pancaked <laughs> to lose a game. Because And you got to also think, you know your coach is getting on you in film. If you oh, get yeah. Moss, like, you can't kind of chalk that to just like, you know, he just made a play. You getting pancaked? Mm -mm, bro. You Here's just, what I say. Here's what I say. If you're getting pancaked, you're getting killed by, like, your team and your coaches. The casual fan watching the game, though, they don't know. They you don't really know. You the casual point. fan will see you get moss. Like, they know, like, damn, he just got a little boy. Like, they'll know. You got a point. Okay. All right. Would you rather fumble the ball on the goal line to lose your team the game or throw a game-losing interception? Oh man, that's tough. Yeah, these is tough. <laughs> that's a tough one. I'm gonna go. I, I'd rather throw the pick because you can always chalk it up to like your quarterback's hard. <laughs> I made the wrong read. My fault bad though. Like fumble is like, bro, that's pop warner. Tuck the ball on the goal line. Come on, bro. That's just that's pop warner stuff, bro. You can't do that. So I think I'd rather throw the pick. I'm not gonna lie, I would rather fumble. The really? pick is the pick is, I mean, like. It's tough because they are both so individual. Like you can't, you yeah. can't throw no one else really under the <laughs> bus for it. But the pick is just like that hurts, bro. And then you got to, I mean, it's tough because your whole team would be mad at you either way. Because if yeah, you were the, run, the running back, it's just if you're on a goal line and you cough it up, like, bro, Come you on, right bro. there. Like, you could hold on to the ball. But I say like, it's so much easier to just hold on to the ball rather than make the right read, make the right throw, like. That is way it's way easier to tell somebody, bro, just hold on to the ball rather than bro, just don't throw a pick. Like, you don't know how hard quarterback is. Is it like a bad pick, like a underthrown the out route? Like he took it to the crib. Like, is it like a bad one? Like bad read it, or like it could be as bad as you want it. Like you I'm is that Zach you. Wilson? Oh. It's like it's like a bro. Will, is it all right? Is it like a bro? It could, no, it could be wrong? like a, a Russell Wilson on the goal line. Oh, hey. That's right, that's really it. like when you think about it, it's not a terrible passage. It really was the situation more yeah. than anything. <laughs> I don't know, but I think I'd rather throw the pick. I mean, I think I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather throw the pick, bro. Fumbling is like, bro, you can't just hold on to the ball, bro. Come on, just like we have the goal line. We right there. I don't know. Okay. I, I think I'd rather throw the pick. Would you rather go 17 and 0 and lose the Super Bowl on a last second field goal? Or have to go 0 and 17 and not win a single game the whole year. Man, that's hard, bro. I the heartbreak of going 17 and 0 and losing is like, damn. But like, bro, we couldn't win one. <laughs> we we couldn't this, get one. This the thing. The 0 and 17 season, like really going a full year and not losing. By like week eight, everybody's checked out, bro. That's yeah, you, that you've true. already like you can't even the coaches can't even be like, you know, if we start stringing them together, like <laughs> no, no, we've already missed the playoffs. Like our <laughs> season is done. <laughs> I I think 
I'd honestly, I'd rather go 0-17, bro, because the the heartbreak of winning every single game and losing last second, I couldn't take that, bro. I just, it would break my heart. Like, yeah, like you said, it, we, we would talk the season. Like, yeah, we talked we, we talk about the all season. We talk about so much other stuff, bro. I wouldn't even, wouldn't even come and feel like work, bro. We just come and just, just shoot the shit all day. That's all we do at, at practice. We already know we suck. So I, I'd rather go 0-17, I'm going to be honest. I got a good one for you now. <laughs> Would you rather get your ankles broken by Rudy Gobert oh my or God. get rim stuffed on a dunk by Trey Young? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, if I get my if I get my ankles broken by Rudy Gobert, you would never see me again. I would never show my face ever and ever. Like I'd rather get stuffed by Trey Young because I'd be like, all right, he just got up. I don't know what to I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Rudy Gobert. Angle breaker? Stop it, bro. I think I could call Rudy right now. If he's just on the perimeter, like, dribbling, I think I could call Rudy as <laughs> So he break my ankles? Bro. Dud, I'm never showing my face again. You get your ankles broken by Rudy Gobert, I need the ref to stop the game, untie them shoes, bro, for me, just, you know, take them off, leave them on the court, and just, just yeah. walk. <laughs> You're done. That it's is the end of your career. It's not for you, bro. This sport right here, bro, it's not for you. Oh, pick Give up a up. computer, bro. Pick up a computer. This is getting a workforce, bro. Right. This is not for Please, you. Bro. These apply athletics for... <laughs> apply for jobs now, bro. This basketball stuff, it's not for you, gang. Yeah, that's tough. Those some oh. events. God damn. Yeah. Those gonna bang. I feel like those are gonna go crazy on TikTok. I think so. 